Hey you guys, super excited about this little mini workshop. So I have been doing this experiment where for 10 days every month, I've been doing a cleanse or a detox or a shred or a dump or whatever you wanna call it. But basically it is just refocusing, recentering, getting myself back, you know, figuring out any habits that have gone awry over the 20 days prior. Um, and it just happens as a busy mom or a busy person or just, you know, it just happens that, you know, even if it's gluten-free crackers, we might eat too much one day or we're not getting our water. And I just really find that it is helpful to recenter and refocus. And I'm hoping that a bunch of you guys agree. So, So you're not probably listening to this live because you're getting this recording, but just take a minute and listen. Turn everything off, silence your phone, figure out somewhere for the kids to go, and really take this in and see if it's something that you're going to get excited about. So here's what you're going to learn. I'm going to explain exactly why I spend 10 days each month focusing on cleaning my body. I am going to show you pretty much exactly what my cleanse looks like. And I'm gonna show you how to integrate a cleanse into your life. And I just wanna start off by explaining a little bit about how I came into all this and my big aha, which is a little bit hard to read on this screen. So eight years ago, I was a mama of three little kids. I was working really hard. I owned a design company. And I had 85 extra pounds on me that I had gained in my first pregnancy. And there was a lot of things I could have tried to fix, but that was sort of the most tangible part of my mama angst. So I decided to tackle that. And basically what I ended up doing was a cleanse that I just kept going with. So a lot of what I'm going to show you today is what I did when I was first starting. And then like life went on and I dove into food and this became my world. But I still need to refocus and reboot. It's something that I didn't do regularly for a while and I could feel the brain fog coming on when it got really busy this year. So that's why I really decided that I was gonna, you know, recheck in with my body, recheck in with my tribe, do this with a friend, and it's been really fun. So when I first did all this, I came from a place where I was not eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. In fact, I pretty much, a vegetable was a Greek salad, which as you know, if you've ever had one, is always the same. And I like bananas and apples, but I wasn't that adventurous. So I certainly wasn't getting the rainbow. And as you know, we're just busy. We're so busy. We have all these tasks around getting meals on the table. You may work like I do. You want to spend quality time with your kids. You want to have energy for your kids and you want to be able to come at this whole mama lifestyle with a smile. At least I did. So here's the rules that I decided to stick by back then eight years ago and right now again every 10 days for the past six months. So no gluten. Gluten was a big one for me. It's something that actually I keep out at all times and why I made the little remark about rice crackers because even gluten-free can get unhealthy. Um, no dairy, no animal pr protein, which is asterisks because that is not a must. None of these actually, I mean, this is just a framework. I want everyone to know that, but I really genuinely think everyone should try this for at least 10 days of their life. So no animal protein. I'm really good at coaching people through that. No processed foods or sugar, no caffeine, no alcohol. I know I'm losing some of you guys, coffee drinkers and wine drinkers, but I promise anything is possible for 10 days. And I'll show you at the end that if you decide to join me, I really thought carefully about the days, the days that we were going to do this. Then 
a few things you're going to add is we drink eight glasses of water a day, we make sure to sleep eight hours a day, we make sure to exercise, and then these two are starred for a reason and I'll explain in a sec, but we definitely substitute one meal with a smoothie. I usually do breakfast. And then we get those 12 servings of fruits and veggies in. We make sure we're getting all those fruits and veggies. So again, I'll get back to the reason behind the asterisks in a sec. So the water part. The water part is huge. So when I wake up, I start the day by having a glass of water. And after I have the glass of water, I generally go downstairs and I fill some vessels. So if I know I'm going to be home working for the day, I fill a big pitcher. If I know I'm going to be on the road, I fill my takeout bottle. I've even gone to the measure some days where I just am stuck in the not drinking water rut that I will fill eight glasses and leave them on the counter so I have a sort of, you know, takeaway. I'm taking away and knowing where I am. Definitely, I've set an alarm on my phone before, but drinking those eight glasses of water is huge, and when you start the day off that way, I think you're more likely to keep doing it throughout the day. Breakfast. So breakfast, I pick to choose, substitute with a smoothie. I do know people who substitute lunch instead, but in general, when you're cleansing, I feel like the morning's a really nice time to do this because we're pretty harsh on our body when we wake up in the morning and giving it food. It's not always ready for that. So this might be, if you're not in the habit of having a smoothie, smoothie for breakfast, this may take you a couple days to get used to. Um, but the smoothies that I'm going to give you, some of the smoothie recipes I'm going to give you are pretty filling. So I would recommend giving that a chance. I generally start my day with a green smoothie or a chocolate smoothie like you see here. And again, I'm going to get more into those in a second. And then for lunch, I have a big salad and I make sure that I'm having a rainbow of veggies on it. In the colder months, so if you're listening to this from somewhere where it's winter, where I am, it's kind of getting warm and springy and I'm wanting to have salad. But if I do that, when I was doing this in the winter, I would have more like warm vegetable bowls. Um, so either thing goes, but the idea is that you're having a big rainbow of veggies um, even when I do have actually cooked veggies, I generally have them over a big pile of leafy greens because that just makes me feel really good. And here you're seeing some hummus on top of the salad for extra protein. And then you guys, so this is the really important thing and why the word detox and cleanse is usually pretty scary is that you think you're going to starve and you're just going to drink juice and smoothies. But guess what? You have to be able to have dessert or this is not sustainable. So it's really important to have some treats. I love chia pudding. That's in the top right. I love making um, little balls, which are I put on cake pops in this pitcher that are just made of nuts and seeds. And these have raw cacao and dates to stick it together, just made in the Cuisinart. Down below is avocado chocolate pudding. So it's just avocado, raw cacao, and dates. And then to the right is black bean brownies. Some of these recipes are just on the Plan Simple Meals website, so you can look those up there. But I usually have the dessert after lunch. That just makes that afternoon feel so satisfying. And then for dinner, which this is an important little caveat, is before 6 or at least four hours before I go to bed. So if I'm really going to bed at midnight, but if you go to bed at midnight, you have to be not waking up till eight. Um, but I want dinner at least four hours before bed. So if you have it at, at seven, you're not going to bed till 11. Whereas if you have it at six, you're going to bed at 10. Got it? Um, so really trying to have that early dinner, it's huge. It's a little bit hard sometimes after dinner. I definitely find this. Um, it's a little bit hard that time in between six and going to bed. But if you choose to do this with me, you'll have access to me and a whole bunch of other people who are going through it. And so maybe hopefully that camaraderie will help. If you do it with a spouse, that's also helpful. Um, you can drink water in that time. You can have an herbal tea, which counts as a water. But it's really, really a great break, a cleansing break for our system to eat a little bit earlier than maybe we usually do. All right, exercise is key. I very purposely put a picture of some yoga ladies here because eight years ago when I lost, you know, 65 to 85 pounds, I did the exercise I was doing was yoga. 
I went to yoga, I did yoga almost every day, either by a video or by going to the class, but that is what I did and I lost that weight. So I don't want people to think they have to be running marathons. Um, you also don't have to do a full hour yoga class. You could walk for 15 minutes. You could find a 15 minute movement video online. You could dance or hula hoop for 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be long, but you just want to keep moving your body maybe in two 15 minute increments throughout the day or once where you're really focused on yourself and once where you're moving with your kids. And I have a lot of ideas for this that if you choose to do this with me, I'll be throwing them out there, but that was a bunch right there. Um, sleep. Sleep is big, and if you're like me, it's hard. I definitely work a lot at night. That's when I get my kids go to sleep, and I get a lot of creative work done at night and writing, and I love that time. So you just have to be focused during those 10 days, and I have to say at the end of the 10 days, I'm always like, wow, I feel good. And a lot of it's to do with the sleep and turning off and really being purposeful about the time I am working because sometimes when I'm working at night, I notice – you know, two hours in that I've, I'm scrolling on Facebook or something that's not really necessary. So, so sleep is big. And the, the main thing behind sleep is just setting up your space to be conducive to sleep. Um, I've heard before not having your phone next to you. It is my most peaceful wake up alarm clock. So I leave mine next to me, but I put it on airplane mode. So it's, so I don't hear like texts coming in at night or whatever warnings. And I just get the alarm in the morning, but I do try to put on the other side of the room. So I can't, you know, inadvertently check it as I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, TV out of the room is a huge one. We don't have, we haven't ever had that in our room, but I know that people who've made that move, it's been huge, making sure it's dark enough to sleep you know, really focusing on your kids sleep so that, you know, and making rhythms around that so that you can eventually find space for your sleep. I know that if you have little kids and they're just waking up and you're listening to this and being like, oh my God, I, there's no way I could ever have eight hours of sleep. You will someday, don't worry. But maybe one of the things that you would do during this 10 days is ask for help one night. So maybe you can get one night of eight hours of sleep, you know, so ask a spouse or an in-law to come sleep and be there in the middle of the night when a baby wakes up. We really need to advocate ourselves around some of these things. And sleep is one of those things that sometimes as busy mamas, we just let slide and it catches up with us at some point. So sleep is a big part of the cleanse. So here's the deal. That what I just shared with you, and I'm going to go over it again, is is what I do when I cleanse. But what I've noticed is that there's two big trends right now. One is that there are so many toxins in our world, and that is increasing. And I'm always learning new things about, you know, everything from what I'm cleaning my toilet with to like the shampoo to the cities I'm in. It's just everywhere. There are toxins everywhere. And our food quality is decreasing because our soil quality is decreasing and we have more processed foods and we're shipping foods farther so they're not ripening on the vine. There's so many reasons. But these two things are real and they're happening. So you can totally take this list, and this is what I did eight years ago, and you can really tr transform your life in 10 days with this checklist and I'm going to send you one that's like not on a chalkboard and it's pretty and that you could print out and check off each day that you're getting these things done. It won't have the nose as check items. It will literally have like every glass of water that you need to have and each meal and that kind of stuff along with the recipes for a day um, that you could just repeat and have a really easy 10 days with a few extra smoothie recipes because I think that smoothies um, – make this. They really do make this because they satisfy a lot of our cravings around sweets, around coffee. Yes, because I have an alternate for that too. Um, around sugar. They're, they're just really satisfying. So I'm going to send everybody who's listening to this a checklist. Well, that's not true. If you're listening to this because you signed up for the webinar, you are going to be getting a checklist because you have my email um, because you're part of that list that's getting this. If you are just listening to this because I sent it to you or somebody sent it to you, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to email me or that person and we will get you that checklist and those recipes. All right. And then you can do it anytime you want. What I do recommend is that your 10 days, you always start them on a Monday 
because if you start them on a Monday, then you have the whole weekend before to prep. You start on a Monday and the 10 days only include one weekend. So with the alcohol thing and, you know, wanting to have fun on weekends, usually people feel relieved that they only have to miss out on one of them. We can do anything for a weekend, right? Um, and that also gives you that weekend before to prep, which I also think is really helpful. So on this list, the animal protein was asterisked because that's a choice. But at the bottom, where I said substitute one meal with a smoothie, and I really wanted to point out getting those 12 servings of fruits and veggies. And by the way, a serving is about a fistful. Um, I wanted to give you guys an alternative and an invitation to do this in a little bit of a different way with me, the way that I do it. So I have partnered with a company who offers a program called the Shred 10, and I am loving it. This is what I have been doing for the past six months. I've actually been using their products for many, many years, but the six months this program is relatively new, and I've really been tapping into it, and it's an amazing energy to tap into. So the shake that I'm using, and the company is Juice Plus, which I should have mentioned and haven't yet, but the shakes are just so yummy and chocolatey or vanilla-y. I love the chocolate. Um, they're low glycemics, which stabilizes blood sugar. They're great even for diabetics, people like people with, who are struggling with any sort of inflammatory-based disease thrive on these. They're vegan and non-GMO. They're gluten and dairy-free, so you don't have to worry about that. They're all plant-based, especially if you're trying to give up the animal protein. They're really filling. Um, and they're prebiotic fiber. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the next word, so you can just read it. So they're just amazing. They're good. They're delicious. I have a lot of recipes that to use them, including like the vanilla one tastes really good with a sweet potato in it. Like it's a whole meal. It tastes like pumpkin pie with the chocolate. We can have like mint chocolate chip or um, peanut butter, banana, so many good combos. And then that other asterisk was about those 12 servings of fruits and veggies. So what I find and what I found eight years ago is that it's pretty hard to get the whole rainbow every day. And when we are even getting the whole rainbow, none of us are getting those vine ripened fruits and veggies because that's just not how our, unless you live on a farm and you're getting all these directly from your farm, that's not how stuff is shipped around our world at this point. Um, it is picked before and it ripens as it's getting to us. And sometimes those fruits and veggies are sitting for a very long time. So they're just more nutrient deficient. So, for about, I guess, three or four years now, I have been taking this food supplement. It is 100% juiced fruits and vegetables. I take all three of those that you see in this picture, the red, the green, and the purple. I take two each day, and it's really bridging that gap, and I'm feeling the difference. If I ever get sick, I even up it because it's just fruits and vegetables, and I'll pee it out if I don't need it. And I just love it. I love that I'm bridging the gap and that it's okay if I, you know, have all green one day and I'm missing the beets and the radishes and the tomato or the pomegranate. You know what I mean? Um, it also doesn't have sugar in it, which I also find takes away my sugar craving because I'm getting what those fruits have in it with the sugar, without the sugar. Sorry. So, when I'm doing this 10 days, I'm actually utilizing these two products um, and then adding in the other food around it. So a lot of people have gone through the Shred 10 program. And what happens is you end up craving more fruits and veggies. You end up finding your healthiest weight. You recover better from workouts if you're a big workout person. You have improved sleep, increased energy. People notice it with their hair, their nails, and their skin. Um, definitely improved regularity for all us women and increased mental clarity. This is a big one for me. So I'd say that the reason that I do this every month is one, to manage that sort of muffin top area that seems to come over my jeans even when I'm doing well. It definitely manages that. And then the brain fog. So the mental clarity is huge. I love this product. There are a lot of mimickers out there right now at 
Whole Foods, at Costco, at everywhere. And I love this brand because it is researched by some of the top universities. And the research is amazing. And it's funny because my mother-in-law has read a lot of the actual studies this year. And so she's been feeding me all the facts. But I recently was at the conference and just heard from doctors after doctor after doctor, um, just the more technical details behind the studies. And it's, it's astonishing. It's amazing. And it really makes me trust the product more when I see how many medical professionals um, and just gurus and experts really endorse this product. So here's the deal. You don't have to use the product to do the cleanse. You don't by any means. So as I said, if you got to this because you signed up for the call and didn't show up live, you're part of a list that's going to get a 10-day cleanse checklist and little kit with some recipes. So you can start this on any Monday you want and you can do it but you will not have the benefit of those extra plant-based proteins and those extra plants that are going into you. So if you want those, I would love, love, love for you to join me for a Shred 10 that I'm going to do from May 8th to May 17th. So it's coming up fast. Um, and I would love to have you join me live. It's going to be fun. And here's why you might consider doing that. First of all, you get those added fruits and veggies. You get those shakes that are filling and delicious. Um, but what you're going to do is we're going to work together that Sunday before, and we're going to get you all set up. We're going to do that through a shopping guide, through some Facebook Lives, through some med um, motivational calls. It's going to be awesome. You're going to get a Shred 10 ebook, which has lots of recipes to utilize throughout the week that uses the complete powder, but also, um, you know, dinner recipes and lunch recipes. You're going to love it. There's literally hundreds of recipes in that and shopping lists. And then you're going to get a bunch of recipes from me, from my book. So those are the more, so in the Shred 10 ebook, there are some recipes that include animal protein. My book is more plant-based. The, the Shred 10 book has plant-based ones too, but my book is definitely plant-based. So you'll get both of those, um, which makes this offer a little bit different. And then you're going to get coaching from me and accountability from the other mamas who are going through this. And then here's the cool thing that I haven't shared with you yet, because a lot of times when I'm sharing Juice Plus, I'm sharing it for the families, and this is a little bit more mama-focused, is that it's free for your kids. So when you sign up and get all these products that you need to go through the Shred 10 for you, you get to enter one child into a study, and they get the gummies alongside while you're having your capsules. And it's amazing, you guys. My kids have been on it for seven years. They've been on it longer than I have because I found it for them because we don't put our oxygen masks on. We take care of our kids. And the other thing that I really want to share is that, you know, I did things like that before I got my health game on, things like buying gummies for my kids. Um, and the second you get your oxygen mask on, I can't even explain it. It is... It's the most, it's the way to most inspire your kids and most get all those fruits and veggies in them. So it's huge. It's amazing. It's life changing um, to do this kind of thing for 10 days for yourself because the ripple effect out to your family is, is forever. And so if you're interested, I need you to email me. It says here by midnight, it's Wednesday today. You you need to email me by the latest on Thursday because I'm tied up on Friday a little bit and it's going to be harder to get in touch and we have to get your order in this week so you get it in time to start the Shred 10. Okay, so we need to get your order in, get your kiddos order in um, so that you have all the supplies you need to really be successful at this. And then the cool little bonus is once we've gone through this Shred 10 and you're feeling awesome, when you order the Juice Plus capsules, the way the company works is they want you to take it for at least four months. Um, just for reference, I've been on it for three years. My mother-in-law has been on it for now over um, 13. My kids have been on it for seven. I know many people who are sort of lifers and afraid to their kids with it. It's it's a long-term game. It's anti-inflammatory. It 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 takes lots of diseases off the table um, or, or, you know, sets your body up to fight lots of things that it, it wouldn't be able to fight so well without that. 
So because it's a longer game, I want you guys to have long-term success. So you can join me every month for the Shred 10. I would love that because I plan on making this a habit. But I've also, as you may have heard if you've been around my world, have a whole membership site that's really focused on your kiddos and getting dinner on the table and lunch packed for school and healthy breakfasts. And you will have access to my whole Plan Simple Meals library for six months if you jump in and take care of yourself in May. Does that sound cool? So that's my deal for you, but you have to email me, mia at plansimplemeals.com. Because there's like shipping involved, there's nothing I can do. If we don't get it in by Friday, I just don't think it's going to get there in time for you to, to do it this month. So send me an email. I'm happy to, I need to hop on the phone with you anyway to get the order in. So I'm happy to answer any questions. So send that email. Let's take the next step and let's shred together. I'm super excited and I cannot wait to see who shows up.